Okay, so after you take the plate off, this is what sits behind it. This is the actual hydraulic actuator, okay? And later on, when you put it back on, you have to rip out this little hole right here. There's like a little rubber thing. And then up top, you, you take that off and you fill it with oil if you lost any, and you fill it to the brim. And then you take a little mini screwdriver and you screw it, and then this thing retracts inwards. So this gets half the size. And then what you do is you stick a paper clip right inside the little hole and it holds it in so that when you go to reinsert it and put your timing belt back on you pull the pin out when it's when it's all done and this opens up and it hits and it snaps it snaps right into this guy right here <coughs> now when you take the timing belt off after you get the plate off for this guy for this thing right here you have to unscrew the the star head bolt for that guy for this little pulley and um, the timing belt will come off right after that it'll just kind of spring right out so you gotta be careful not to lose anything so and then uh, also be sure when you take this off shake it and rattle it if you shake it and rattle it and it's jiggling it means that you're gonna need a new uh, a new pulley because that means the bearings are going and that's that's no good that will probably ru run you roughly eighty dollars for just the pulley alone so it's kind of an expensive fix but uh... if you can see here that's how the uh... actuator connects to the pulley and it makes the uh, makes the uh, timing belt nice and tight once it's on there. So there you go.